were talking about Bryson, him just smoking, just crushing the ball. And my favorite clip, actually, of all time is the one he put on his Instagram where he is in this, uh, this like, house or some type. That's my house. That's what I was going to say. That's your house, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. He's, like, in That's some. That's my house. <laughs> he's, like, in a house just crushing balls into a, a net. That's my living room. <laughs> we built. You got to come. We built. I built a, a a biomechanics lab in my living room. That's amazing. In, in Frisco, Texas. What does that mean, biomechanics lab? Um, so you know, for like video games, where they put like the markers on a person, or like uh, for movies, they'll put like little like little. Oh yeah, sports markers. markers. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And and then they create like a, a three dimensional model of like the person or whatever, mm-hmm. right? So in biomechanics, they use that for for to measure a person's body when they're you know doing anything in sports related or whatever just human movement related um so i went to grad school for that uh used a lot of that technology as well as force plates which is basically these things you stand on that measure how much force you put in the ground so uh, so it's a, the 3d motion capture as well as the force plates and um when the whole COVID stuff kind of happened i was at the players championship with uh, with bryson and the tournament got canceled on the way home. It was like, wow, you know, I, I do a show on the Golf Channel called Swing Expedition. The golf Channel was like, hey, we're going to have to pause on filming for a little bit because of all the stuff that's happening. And it just became apparent that the world was, you know, shutting down. I'm, I suck at being bored, doing nothing. Uh, I had an apartment in Dallas at the time, and I was like, I don't want to be stuck in a, in a, in a, in a one-bedroom right. apartment, right? So I go to Dallas, can't uh, give my notes to vacate the apartment, find a realtor. I was like, hey, find me a house somewhere in the Dallas area with high ceilings. And I just had this, this idea in my mind that had been incubating um, to have like kind of like a multi-sport biomechanics lab. So basically turned the living room into that, got the force plates, the 3D motion capture system, and put a basketball hoop up. We have a weight set there. So, you know, it's just like a little place to kind of hit balls and measure golf swings what were you guys doing that day were you just trying to see if you could break his back yeah dude? yeah well, <laughs> he, was, he looked like he was hitting 110 percent as hard as he could he was and that was part of how he developed speed was to really kind of push himself to be able to swing as fast as he can and and and, and what what that means day to day make it faster so he would come in one day swing as fast as he could hit like a top speed come in a couple of days later swing as fast as he could that top speed would get higher and higher and higher. And Any he just, concern while he's doing that for direction, or is he just so good that he's going to hit it straight no matter what? Oh, 100% concern for direction. But that's part of, like, the nuance of technique. So it's like, you know, there's certain things that you got to do to, like, you know, swing it faster, certain strength requirements. Uh, you know, there's the catchphrase in golf instruction of ground reaction forces. Use those or create that sort of effectively. Mm-hmm. But then there's the control part of it, which is a big part of golf skill as well. How do you, like, kind of go know where your ball's going, right? How do you find your ball? And that's a lot of the things that, that we've talked about and worked on 